Hi, this is Steve from SewingGold.com, and I am going to show you how to adjust uh, the tension in the check spring on this uh, DU1181N Juki um, to sew with a little thinner material. It's not thin, but it's uh, a medium weight, uh, looks like a cotton, um, with some T40 um, poly thread. Uh, this is a Monsaba C thread. Um, so I'm not using bonded nylon on this. Um, someone asked me, I believe uh, it was a quilter. She wanted to quilt with the machine. We made an adjustment. We made a video, but I never showed how we made the adjustment. We just showed her that it was working. So I'm going to show you how to adjust it. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to sew on the machine and show you how bad it'll sew without any adjustments. And you can see it gathering already. gathered up okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce the tension a little bit and then I'm also going to re release some of the strength of this uh, check spring so to increase the check spring strength I'm going to stick a screwdriver in the end of this okay I'm not going to make, do anything else I'm not going to loosen this screw or anything I'm just going to put the screwdriver in the end of the tension if I turn it clockwise, it's going to make the check spring, which is this, this is your check spring, stronger. I don't want it stronger. I want it weaker now. Okay, so I'm going to first turn it, let's say a half turn. Okay. Now I'm going to check it. Got a little weaker. Now let's see how it's going to sew. So same piece of material. Still gathering. Okay, we're going to make another adjustment. I'm going to check the tension really quick. Reduce the tension a little bit. And then I'll reduce that check spring a little more. Okay. Cut off some of these strands of thread. And I'm going to try it again. Pretty good okay so you see I made a couple adjustments on there to get this to work properly so now it's laying flat it's, well obviously you can't see that because I'm not focused on that okay so now the stitch is laying flat this has been stitched up a little bit let me do another piece probably should have used a different color thread but I guess I wasn't thinking Remember, it's not going to be perfect because this machine's not meant really to sew light material, especially two layers. Um, I think even the quilter was using something quite different. Okay, hold on. So my stitch is actually right here. Sort of hard to see, but you can see it's laying fairly flat. And that's the back. Okay, so you saw the adjustments I made. It's not the easiest thing to do. It'll take some fiddling and you may have to put it back or more than likely you'll have to put it back if you're using going back to your T70 bonded nylon. So remember what you've done in the video or in my video. Remember what I've done and remember what you've done also. You might want to make notes of what how you adjusted the machine to sew the lighter fabric. All right. If you have any comments you could leave them below. Um, I will answer them as soon as I can get to them unfortunately. I don't get to them as fast as I should. Sorry. Um, I am Steve from SewingGold.com. Thank you.